Welcome everybody to our most recent episode of Bed Bug Central TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And we're going to talk about an interesting topic today, one that we do get a lot of questions on. Um, we're actually going to get some things up here, some devices, we're going to interact, I'm going to show you some things. It's going to be a real cool episode. Um, and what it's going to be on, it's going to be on something we call glue boards and monitors and their role in association with bed bug management plans. And as you guys are saying, what's a glue board and monitor, let's show you. Um, what it is, is it's a piece of cardboard or thick paper. And if we remove this piece of wax paper, we reveal a nice sticky surface. What that is, is it's glue that's, you know, painted on or, or placed on the top of that, that piece of paper or cardboard. And what it does is that as a bug is walking around wherever this is placed, it walks across the cardboard onto the glue and it gets stuck to the glue. And then what that does is it shows you that there are still bed bugs present in the environment and it may provide you with some information about that infestation. Now what you're going to hear some people say at this point is, well, bed bugs aren't attracted to these. So what good are they? And I can't debate that point. Bed bugs are not attracted to these. They have no reason to come to these. But my philosophy with them is, why not put them down? Okay, so maybe you only catch one bug, or maybe you catch five bugs, whatever the case may be. That's five less bugs you have in your apartment now. And what if you catch a bug in an area that you didn't think you had bugs? Maybe you had one of these in your dining room, and you've been having trouble getting rid of the infestation, and you have this below the hutch in your dining room, you catch a bug on it, well, maybe that means you have a problem in the dining room that shouldn't be there, but it is, and that's what's been being missed. So it can provide you with information about your infestation, where the bugs are coming from, and again, they're not attracted to it, but they're very cost-effective, they're not very expensive, and it takes less than a minute to put one of these down. You know, you, you take the wax paper off like I already did, you fold this thing closed, if I can do it without sticking myself to the glue board, which isn't always very easy. There we go. You make it a nice, smooth box. And then what you do is you take it, and we're going to replicate a baseboard here. You're going to take it, and then you're going to put it right up against that baseboard, nice and flush up against the baseboard. And the one thing we know about bed bugs is as they move around your house or an environment, they tend to walk along seams and edges. So they're going to walk along that edge of that baseboard and they're going to hopefully come in contact with this glue board and get stuck to it. And then when you go to check the glue boards, however often you're checking them or however often your pest control company is checking them, you take a look at it, lo and behold you have a bed bug on it and maybe you get some information out of that. And hey, like I said, what can it hurt to put a few of these down, maybe you catch a few bugs, a few less bugs, maybe it gives you some information. And there's a lot of different options in regards to these. Um, this is just one. This is what we call a mouse glue board. Um, it's originally intended to catch mice. Um, a lot of these sometimes are scented like peanut butter and whatnot. But either way, this is a mouse glue board. Um, we also have smaller glue boards such as this one. You know, you take the wax paper off of it, if I can get it off. And you fold it closed and you have a nice little sticky surface on here as I get my hand stuck to it. Um, this one is a yellow glue board. Um, commonly used in agricultural settings, colors, different colors attract different insects. Um, but, you know, there's no reason why you couldn't use it in a house. Um, so this is a yellow glue board. And then here you have the biggest and baddest of them all. This is what we call a rat glue board. Now this, if you ask me, is a little excessive. Um, I don't see necessarily needing to use this in a house. I mean, if you had a random stray cat running around your house, you could probably catch it on this glue board. This is a monster. As I wreck my desk trying to take the wax paper off. And as you can see, it's difficult to even get the wax off. I'm not sticking my hand to this one because it may not come off, but you can see the size of it. I mean, this is a very big glue board. You literally could catch a cat or dog on it, probably a small dog. Um, but it's big, and that's all I want to say. But there's nothing saying you couldn't use it. You know, if you wanted to use it in your house, you didn't have animals, you wanted to use the biggest glue board you could find, there's nothing saying you couldn't use it. But you can see, even when it folds up, it's basically huge. I mean, you can see my entire face through the opening. It, it's, it's a monster. Um, but nothing saying you couldn't use it. It's still going to, you know, catch bed bugs if they come in contact with it. But that's the thing, if they come in contact with it. It's a random chance. So, in review, there's lots of different options out there for glue boards. You know, it depends on which one you want to use. You just want to make sure it's a nice sticky surface. You want to make sure when you put it out, 
whoever it may be, pest control company or you, you want to put it flush up against the surface. That way if a bug comes across it, it does go hopefully into it, not saying it can't walk around or under or over. And just keep in mind it's random chance that you catch a bed bug. But if you do, it's one less bed bug and maybe it gives you some information. So my philosophy on these is it can't hurt. So I hope this information helps. I hope it gets your, you know, minds flowing and gets you sending topics and questions to me because you know, we're always looking for new things to talk about. Um, interesting topic, excited about this one, think it's a really neat thing to talk about. Um, email me questions and topics and before you know it, we'll be back with the next episode. I will see everybody soon enough.